so when it comes to finding where to download Active Inspire, you're going to come to the website prometheanplanet.com. I'm on the landing page here for the website and as you can see right in front of me in the spotlight at the top of the list there is a prompt that says download Active Inspire. If for any reason I don't see that on the landing page there are other places I can come to and the place I'm going to direct you to is the support tab. Okay. So when I click on the support tab on the landing page for this um, part, you'll notice over here on the right a huge button, Download Active Inspire. I can click on that and it takes me to the place where I can download Active Inspire. Over here on the left, there's also um, places you can browse for support. And I'm going to come into the software tab here and I'm going to click on Active Inspire. And the reason I'm taking you through this way is because now on the right hand side you can see a really useful list. This is where you can find drivers and other pieces of software that you want to download. Um, one thing I'll point out for Mac users, there's a driver up here and there's a driver down here. So if you have, you know, before Mountain Lion I think it was and, and afterwards, um, you need to just cast your eye all the way to the bottom to find the latest driver there. Having said that, with the latest download of Active Inspire, you don't need to download a separate driver. This is because the driver is inbuilt in this software package. It will download with Active Inspire. Mac users, you will still need to load the driver separately. Windows users, you won't. Okay, so I'm going to click here on Download Active Inspire. And it takes me through to a page and as you can see we have Active Inspire in many many different languages. Now I'm going to choose UK English simply because I want everything with correct spelling. US English would be spelled differently. Okay. And this then takes me to where I can download Active Inspire. Oh, I just need to scroll down a bit. Um, we love a, a cheesy video in Promethean, so I'll just pause that so it doesn't play over top of us. <sighs> um, now, depending on whether you're running Windows, Mac or Linux, this is where you download. And there's a couple of things to note. You'll notice that the first choice for downloading is actually for a resource pack. This is the subjects resource pack that people are often missing out of their library and this is the one that's got all of the really great goodies in it. It's got images, it's got, um, it's got all the stuff that you really want basically. This is a separate download so if I, if I was downloading for Windows I would click here and I would download this resource pack for Windows. Okay. I actually don't want to do that, I'm going to go back. Come on, internet. And underneath that, oh, underneath that is my download for Active Inspire itself. Okay, and it's the same over here. The first icon here for Mac, that's the resource pack of goodies for the library. And download Active Inspire. Now, when you're loading things, you're going to want to load Active Inspire before you load the resource pack because the resource pack will have nowhere to load into, obviously, if you haven't loaded the software. Okay? And it's as simple as that.